On the 29th of August 2015, I arrived in Yogyakarta, Indonesia for holidays. I checked into my hotel without any problems. I dropped my bags off in my room, walked down the street in front of the hotel. Um, I was taking photographs of the many interesting and beautiful things I saw. I went into the palace, which was open for visitors, and I took a lot of photographs of various parts of the palace. I noticed that there was a ceremony uh, of some kind taking place, so I stopped to watch and take photos. An older man in what might have been a palace uniform approached me and began talking. I greeted him in basic Indonesian, but I couldn't understand most of what he was saying. I thought he wanted me to pay a fee for taking photos, so I explained to him that I'd already paid an entrance fee. He walked off, and I noticed that uh, some people were looking at me. I wanted to put people at their ease, so I smiled, um, and uh, I patted some children on the head and told them how cute they were. Soon after this, the older man in the uniform approached me with two police officers. I wanted to show that I hadn't done anything wrong, so I decided to introduce myself. I stood up and I pointed to myself and I told them my name. Then I pointed at the two police officers and hoped that they would tell me their names or who they were. The police didn't respond, but began talking and pointing to my camera. It appeared they were asking me to give them my camera. I could understand the word photo and what they were saying, but I couldn't understand anything else. I was worried about handing over my camera, it was very expensive, and I didn't want them to mishandle it or confiscate it. Uh, confiscate it. I kept pointing at my camera saying, Banya uang, lots of money, and mahal, expensive, hoping that they would understand how expensive it, it was. I even tried English. I said, uh, this camera is really expensive, I can't let you hold it. They didn't seem to understand what I was saying, so I pulled a piece of paper from my wallet and I wrote $3,700 on the piece of paper. I smiled and I gave the paper to one of the police officers so that he could see how expensive my camera was. The police officer frowned when he read the paper. Uh, at first I thought it was because he had never seen a camera that was so expensive, but then I realised it was probably because I'd used the wrong currency, so I quickly wrote 40, uh, 40 million rupiah on the paper and. Uh, then gave him the thumbs up. <laughs> <coughs> I thought he would finally understand why I wouldn't give him my camera. By this time, there were about 10 or 15 people who had stopped to watch and I was starting to feel nervous. One of the police officers reached out and started to remove the camera strap from around my neck. I realised the police weren't going to leave me alone, so I quickly reached up to block his hand. Then I pulled the camera off my neck and held it out for the police officer. The older man in the palace uniform quickly pulled the camera out of my hands and started pushing buttons. I reached out to show him how to turn it on, but one of the police put his hand out and stopped me from touching the camera. I was starting to feel frustrated because I didn't realise, I didn't know uh, why they'd taken my camera. I turned to the crowd and I said, can anyone tell me what's happening? Does anyone speak English? I saw a few people who looked like uni students and I thought they might speak some English, so I used my hand to gesture for them to come over, uh, but no one did. Um, one of the police officers reached up and pushed my hand down and then tried to get me to leave the room. I didn't want to leave my camera, so I stayed where I was. The two police officers began to talk more forcefully to me. I wasn't sure what they were saying. One police officer handed me a piece of paper. I couldn't understand what it said, but it looked like there was a phone number and address written on the piece of paper. They kept indicating for me to leave the room. I said, give me back my camera and I'll go. I took a few steps towards the palace official who was holding my camera. I had to push my way through a few people who were standing in the crowd uh, watching what was happening. I felt a hand on my shoulder, but I shrugged it off and kept walking. A few steps later, I felt someone hold my elbow. I said, just let me get my camera. I turned around and saw that it was one of the police who was holding my elbow. I said to her, I just need to get my camera. I tried to pull my arm back, but she didn't let go. I twisted my arm and my hand came loose and hit the police officer near the eye. The other police officer came up and put handcuffs on me. They escorted me out to a police car. Police brought me to the police station and I spent a night in the cells and now I'm in this interview room. Mari, 
silakan masuk. Silakan masuk. Silakan masuk. Ya. Uh, duduk di mana? Duduk di sini aja. Uh, di sini, di sini, di sini. Oke. Okay. Ayo kita mulai, um, keterangan Anda akan direkam, ini ada video dan ini ada perekam, um, nama saya Fung. Dan nama saya Umi, um, okay. nama saya uh, Judith, but I didn't understand the rest of what you said. Um, tinggal uh, di mana? Address? Address, oh uh, yes, um, I'm staying at the hotel uh, 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 Paradiso. Bahasa Indonesia? Bahasa, Bahasa Indonesia? Uh, tidak, 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 uh, tidak, uh, tidak bisa bicara bahasa Indonesia, hanya okay. Inggris. Hanya uh, Inggris. Tapi, tapi bisa mengerti sedikit? <coughs> Banyak? Hanya sedikit. Hanya sedikit. sedikit. Oh, Oke, okay. uh, jadi apakah Anda siap untuk berbicara mengenai pelanggaran yang Anda lakukan? Oh, uh, tidak, uh, saya... <coughs> Tidak, uh, do not understand. Yeah. Anda telah membuat onar di tempat umum dan memukul seorang polisi tanpa alasan. Apa tanggapan Anda tentang itu? Ah, uh, look, I'm sorry, I really don't understand. Kayaknya, kayaknya dia tidak mengerti atau pura-pura tidak mengerti. Tidak mengerti. Uh, do not understand. Pura-pura tidak mengerti? Mungkin dia, hmm. dia minta juru bahasa. Kenapa sih pakai juru bahasa segala? Um, Interpreter, please. Dia bikin lama saja. Ya, bikin lama memang. Uh-huh. Tapi, um, okay, tapi dia bilang bahasa Inggris. Bahasa Inggris itu bahasa Eropa ya? Iya, saya pikir begitu. Okay. Belum pernah dengar saya. Inggris itu apa? Okay. Interpreter, please. Interpreter. I need an interpreter. Dan okay. saya bisa bicara okay. Tunggu bahasa sebentar. Indonesia. Tunggu sebentar. Saya Kalau panggil juru, juru bahasa. bahasa. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Interpreter? You giving me an interpreter? Juru bahasa. Ya, panggil juru bahasa. Oh, terima kasih. Bom dia. Eu sou a interpreta. Oh, thank you, Evans. Please, sorry. Silakan, silakan duduk. But would you please help me to contact the Australian Embassy? That's all I want. Would you help me, please? Tolong, tolong perkenalkan, um, silakan perkenalkan diri Anda kepada Ibu Kelly. Kok, kok sepertinya dia masih tetap tidak mengerti? Um, tadi kita tulis bahasa apa ya? Kan bahasa Eropa, sama kan? Yeah. Um, ya, yeah, saya pikir saya pikir bahasa Inggris sama dengan bahasa Eropa, cuma beda aksen. Iya, yeah, saya pikir cuma aksennya saja yang berbeda. Okay. Eropa? Eropa? Australia. 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 Oke, okay. oh. beg- yeah. kalau begitu. kalau begitu. I need an Australian interpreter. Oke. Okay. Okay. Um, ah, kita salahkan saja dinas penterjemah ini. ITSNT salah kirim orang. Oke, oke. Oke. And um, <laughs> Oke, ibu-ibu tinggal di hotel mana? Uh, di, uh, di hotel Paradiso. Paradiso. Dengan siapa ke sini? Dengan siapa? Suami ikut? Saya so, uh, tidak mengerti. Sorry. Su- sudah punya anak? I don't understand. I really don't speak anak? Indonesian. Punya anak? Anak? Ya. Yeah. I, I have children. Ya. Yeah. Punya yeah. anak? Uh, uh, I have children. Uh, uh, tidak. Tidak punya anak. Oke. Okay. Um, bekerja di mana? I'm sorry. I tidak mengerti. I do not understand. Tidak bisa bicara bahasa Indonesia. Hanya okay. Inggris. Hanya Inggris. Oke. Okay. Okay. Ini ada penterjemah yang baru. Mudah-mudahan Anda bisa mengerti. Oh, thank you. Silahkan diperkenalkan. Halo, okay. I'm Boon, English Language Interpreter. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Heavens, you're here. Um, would you please help me contact uh, Maaf, the... maaf. Jangan bicara dulu. And, uh, kita mulai lagi pembicaraan ini. Tolong, tolong beritahu kepada terdakwa untuk berterus terang. Kami akan merekam semua percakapan ini. Ibu, uh, kalau bisa ibu bicara langsung dengan um, ibu ini supaya mempermudah proses penterjemahan. Oke. Okay. I ask the, um, the 
officer to speak directly to you to facilitate communication. Oh, thank you. But look, could you help me? Maaf, Would maaf, you? Maaf, jangan bicara dulu. Please don't say anything. Okay. Uh, sekarang sebelum kita mulai, apa dia ada pertanyaan? Ibu mau, mau minta silakan bicara langsung kepada ibu ini supaya mudah. Ada repot pakai menerjemah <laughs> susah. Officer to address you directly. Okay. Um, anda asal dari mana? Where are you from? Uh, Darwin, Australia. Oh, orang Australia. An Australian? Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Menurut catatan imigrasi, Anda datang ke negeri ini tanggal 28 Agustus 2015. Benar hmm. begitu? According to our immigration records, you arrived here on the 20th of August 2015. Is that right? Uh, uh, no, the 29th. Tanggal 29. Okay. And apa apa tujuan anda datang ke sini? And what was the purpose of that trip? Oh, I'm a tourist. I just came here to look at the sites to visit. Oh. Saya uh, pelancong. Saya datang untuk berjalan-jalan. Dengan siapa anda datang ke sini? With, with whom? Uh, by myself. Sendiri. Oh, sendiri. Suami tidak ikut? What about your husband? Um, no, no, he's busy. I had to stay home. Uh. Dia sibuk. Tapi, di rumah. tapi mengapa anda membuat onar di sini? Why did you cause trouble here? Uh, look, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was causing trouble. Maaf, saya tidak tahu saya meng membuat keonaran. Sebelum Anda menjawab, kami memberikan peringatan bahwa Anda tidak harus menjawab pertanyaan kami. Before you say anything, I would like to yeah. caution you that you don't have to answer our questions. Tapi kalau Anda berbohong, itu juga pelanggaran dan kami bisa menahan Anda. Makin cepat selesai pendidikan kami, makin cepat kami bisa melepas Anda. However, if you lie to us, we could charge you with that offense as well. The faster we complete this investigation, the sooner we can consider releasing you. All right. Baik. Okay. Jadi sebenarnya masalahnya ini sepele, jadi tidak perlu dipersulit. So this is a minor matter. Let's not complicate this. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. Baik. Tadi Anda meminta untuk uh, pengacara, tapi sayang sekali tidak ada pengacara yang bisa membantu Anda. Jadi kita lanjutkan saja tanpa pengacara. You asked for a lawyer earlier on, but we couldn't locate a lawyer to assist you. So shall we proceed without a lawyer? Nah, sekarang Anda sudah tahu hak Anda. Apakah sekarang bersedia untuk melakukan dan bercerita kepada kami? Ini kesempatan bagus buat Anda untuk menjelaskan sudut pandang Anda. Now that you are aware of your rights, this is a time for you to tell your story. This is an opportunity for you to tell your side of the story. Okay. Alright. Okay. Jadi, jadi kemarin sekitar jam 3 sore, Anda masuk ke keraton dan mengambil foto-foto. So yesterday around 3 in the afternoon you went to the palace to take photos? Well, I went to the palace to have a look around and yes, I did take some photos. Dan nah, seorang Maaf, Bu. Ya, saya ke 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 keraton dan ya saya mengambil foto. Oke, okay. jadi dan seorang petugas keraton memberitahu Anda bahwa Anda tidak boleh mengambil foto saat upacara berlangsung. Benar begitu? Saya tidak tahu, saya tidak tahu bahwa ada yang memberitahu saya supaya tidak mengambil foto. Tapi meskipun dilarang, Anda tetap memotret bahkan minta orang lain mengambil foto anda benar begitu and, though, and, and in spite of being told not to do so you continue to take photos and you even ask other people to help take your pictures is that right um, I didn't realize that I wasn't allowed to take pictures but I did ask someone to take my photo yes yeah. saya tidak tahu bahwa saya tidak boleh ambil foto dan tapi ya saya ada minta seseorang membantu saya mengambil foto saya sendiri tapi ketika tidak ada yang mau membantu Anda, Anda malah kesal dan malah menghina anak-anak mereka. Benar so, begitu? When other people refused to help you to take photos, you became upset and you insulted other people's children, is that right? No, not at all. Tapi tidak, tidak begitu. Tapi benar kan Anda menepuk kepala kepala uh, kepala anak-anak itu setelah orang tua mereka tidak mau mengambil foto Anda? Is it true that you petted other people's children after their parents refused to take your photo? I I don't think that it was the parents I asked, but I certainly patted some very cute children on the head. They were gorgeous little things. I couldn't resist. They're just so lovely. Saya tidak tahu itu orang tua anak-anak itu. Memang saya ada memegang kepala anak-anak karena mereka lucu sekali. Saya saya merasa mereka lucu sekali. Apa alasan anda tidak mau menuruti perintah polisi untuk menyerahkan kamera anda? And 
what's your explanation for not handing over your camera when instructed so to do so by the police officer? Well, I, I didn't realize that the police officer, I didn't think and that the police officer had any right to take my camera uh, and I didn't. Saya tidak tahu bahwa itu adalah petugas polisi dan saya tidak tahu dan saya tidak merasa bahwa polisi punya hak mengambil kamera saya. Tapi kan Anda mengerti dari isyarat mereka bahwa Anda harus menyerahkan kamera. You did understand by their gestures that you were expected to hand over a camera, didn't you? Um, I thought maybe they wanted to take my camera, but the point is it's my camera. I didn't really see that they had a right to take it tahu bahwa mereka mau minta kamera saya tetapi masalahnya itu kamera saya saya tidak tahu bahwa saya tidak mengerti kenapa mereka mau ambil kamera saya dan benarkah bahwa anda menyerahkan secarik kertas dengan sejumlah uang tertulis di atasnya begitu polisi tahu bahwa polisi ingin menyita kamera anda is it true that you wrote a sum of money on a piece of paper when you became aware that the police were asking you to hand over your camera yes you see that i i was trying to get across the point that my camera was very expensive and I was very reluctant to hand it over to somebody else because it cost... Excuse me, please please pause for me to translate. Can I say I'm in touch with Brent, please by Sebi Sebi. Okay. Jenny, can you start again, please? Well, I was trying to get across that my camera was very expensive, so I wrote the price down on a piece of paper. Ya, saya mau mencoba menerangkan bahwa kamera saya itu mahal, maka saya tulis secara kertas. Okay. Menurut saya, Anda ingin menyuap polisi. Anda memberikan kertas itu dengan maksud untuk mempengaruhi polisi, benar bukan? You handed that piece of paper over in order to influence a police officer, is that right? No, that's wrong. I the, well, I just wanted to show the policeman how expensive my camera was. That's all. Mm. Itu tidak benar. Saya cuma mau menunjukkan kepada polisi bahwa kamera saya mahal. Hmm. Jadi begitu ya di, di tempat Anda kalau melakukan pelanggaran di, di negara Anda. Apa Anda biasa mencoba menyuap polisi? Is that how it works in your country? When you break the law, uh, are you used to, is it common practice to break the police officer? Oh no, not at all. No, no. never. We just don't, like, I, there, there's no reason I would want to bribe that police officer either because I hadn't done anything wrong. Tidak, tidak begitu. Dan tidak ada alasan kenapa saya mau mencoba menyuap polisi karena saya tidak melakukan kesalahan apa-apa. Ah, jadi anda hanya menyuap polisi kalau ada di negara orang lain. So you only bribe police officers when you are traveling in other people's countries. No, I does not. I did not try to bribe the police officer. Tidak Keep saya tidak men, men, menyuap polisi. Hmm. I'm not trying to bribe you. Saya tidak mencoba menyuap anda. Ah, setelah polisi menolak disuap, anda menjadi marah dan membuat isyarat-isyarat yang kurang ajar kepada orang lain di sekitar anda. After the police officer refused your bribery, you became upset and you made uh, rude gestures to the members of the public? No. Tidak. Benar Anda membuat isyarat seperti ini? Didn't you do, didn't you make that kind of gesture? Well, yes, but I, I just wanted them to come over and help me. Iya, tapi saya cuma mau minta mereka datang menolong saya. Tapi uh, isyarat seperti ini, ini kurang ajar sekali. It's obscene gestures. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Well, maaf saya tidak tahu. Dan dan yang terakhir, benar Anda menentang polisi dan memukul polisi di matanya? And finally, is it is it true that you resist police officer and um, struck her in the eye? Well, no, no, that's that's definitely not true. That was an accident. The police officer was trying to get my my uh, camera and uh, oh, excuse me, ma'am, maaf itu tidak benar. Polisi sedang mencoba mengambil kamera saya. And 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 I wanted to take it off myself and. I think I must have turned sideways or something. I can't look. It was very. It was all confused. Dan saya mencoba mencopot kamera saya dan waktu saya berputar, ya pokoknya saya bingung deh. Jadi, jadi anda dengan sengaja menarik tangan anda dari polisi. So you did intentionally pull your arm away from the police officer. Well, yes, I did, but I didn't. I didn't see any reason why the police officer had hold of me. Saya tapi tidak mengerti kenapa. Apa alasannya polisi menahan saya, memegang tangan saya? Dan anda tahu itu seorang polisi waktu anda memukulnya? And you were aware that that person is a, was a police officer when you struck her? But I didn't strike her. It, it was an accident. Tapi saya yeah. tidak pukul dia. Itu itu um, kebetulan kena saja. Is she all right, yeah. by the way? Yeah. Apa, dia baik-baik saja? Oh, itu bukan urusan dia. It's none of your business. Oh. Okay. <laughs> gimana? Gimana? Uh, ini ini menurut saya sih um, kalau 
penyuapan itu termasuk pelanggaran, so, pelanggaran. Ya, pelanggaran. Ya, pelanggaran. Ya, pelanggaran. Ya, eh maaf maaf jangan jangan diterjemahkan ini hanya pembicaraan kami jadi tolong jangan diterjemahkan ya apa perlu saya tunggu di luar oh enggak enggak kita lanjutkan lagi kita lanjutkan lagi Oke, okay. jadi kami mengerti bahwa budaya Anda mungkin berbeda dengan kami, tapi kami ingin memastikan beberapa hal. We understand that your culture might be different from ours, so oh, we would like to clarify a few things. Oke. Okay. Oke. Okay. Dalam budaya Anda, apakah boleh orang membuat onar atau mengganggu keamanan di tempat umum? In your culture, is it acceptable for people to be a nuisance and cause public disturbance? Well, no. Tidak. Okay. Apakah Baik. boleh menghina anak-anak orang dan membuat isyarat yang kurang ajar? Is it acceptable to insult other people's children and make rude, obscene gestures? Well, no. But Tidak. Okay. <laughs> okay. Dan di dalam apakah di negara anda anda boleh menyuap polisi? And in your country is it acceptable to bribe a police officer? No. Tidak. Okay. Baik. Ah, bagus. Kalau gitu, apakah boleh menentang atau memukul polisi? Good. And is it is it acceptable to resist or strike or assault a police officer? No. Tidak. Ah, good to bisa mengerti. But I didn't bagus, do bagus, 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 bagus. That's good. Uh-huh. Uh, berarti tidak ada kesalahpahaman budaya di sini. Good, there's no miscultural understanding here. Well, I didn't do any of those things. Ya, yes, saya tidak melakukan hal-hal itu. Yeah. Menurut Anda, memukul atau menentang polisi itu tindakan yang benar atau salah? In your opinion, to assault, to resist and assault the police officer, is that, a, is that a right or wrong thing to do? Well, it would be a wrong, a wrong thing to do if a person Bagus. had done such a thing. Ya, itu salah kalau orang kalau seseorang memang melakukan hal itu. Oke, okay, bagus. Uh, bag- kalau membuat kekacauan di tempat umum itu tindakan yang benar atau salah? Good. How about causing public disturbance? Is that right or wrong? Depends on the circumstances. Tergantung <laughs> situasi. And apakah anda ada yang memaksa anda untuk melakukan semua ini? Did anyone force you to do any of these things? Well, no. Tidak. Okay. Oh, apakah anda dalam keadaan mabuk atau dalam pengaruh obat terlarang pada waktu melakukan tindakan tersebut? Were you drunk or under the influence of drugs, illegal drugs when you did this? No. Tidak. Oke, okay. terima kasih kalau begitu atas kerjasama anda. So can apakah I go now? anda setuju bahwa kami telah memperlakukan anda dengan adil dan tidak ada paksaan dalam menjawab pertanyaan anda? Thank you for your cooperation. Do you agree that we have treated you fairly and that you were not forced to answer any question? <laughs> <laughs> Jelas bahwa kami memiliki cukup bukti untuk menuntut Anda dengan pelanggaran berikut. It's clear that we have enough evidence to charge you with the following. Yang pertama, membuat onar di tempat umum. Firstly, causing public disorder. Yang kedua, tidak mematuhi arahan polisi. Secondly, disobeying police direction. Yang ketiga, mencoba menyuap polisi. Thirdly, attempting to bribe a police officer. Yang keempat, memukul seorang anggota Polri. Fourthly, assaulting a police officer. Oh, um, well, can I go now? Boleh saya pergi sekarang? Uh, tunggu sebentar ya. Just wait a minute. Look, can, can you help me? to contact the Australian Embassy, please. Uh, dia, dia, meminta dia bilang apa? Men- Halo. Dia minta saya menolong untuk uh, menelpon. Uh, maaf, kurang uh, kedengaran. Uh, Halo, ini kantor polisi. Ya, nama saya Ben dari Kedutaan Australia. Saya perlu bicara dengan Ibu Kelly. Ah, ada yang mau bicara dengan Ibu Kelly dari Kedutaan Australia. It's a call for you, ma'am. It's a call for Miss Kelly from the Australian Embassy. Oh, great, thank you. Hello, hello, is Judith Kelly, Kelly here, can you help me? Yes, Miss Kelly, this is Ben Grimes from the Embassy. I've been assigned to help you with your legal issues of 